Hello everybody, welcome back to another video describing another issue of Eagle Star Trek, uh, the official Starships collection. This time it's a video about a release from May 2016, issue 72, and it's the USS Enterprise NCC 1701A which is the starship which we have seen in the movies Star Trek 4, 5 and 6. And this is the box. It's a standard Eagle Moss box. On this side you can see the logos of the four of the five main TV shows. On this side you can see the warning that this is a collector's model and it's not designed or intended for play by children under 14 years of age. As you can see, it was published by Eagle Moss, manufactured in China. This is the main Star Trek logo from the original TV show. Here you can see its trademark and copyright 2016 CBS Studios Incorporated. So that was enough of the box. Let's take the model out. And here we have it, the NCC 1701A, USS Enterprise. You can see also the, I think it's called the Aztecing pattern on the saucer section. Okay, you should now be able to see it better. Now, here you have some details about the ship. As usually on my review videos. From the side, again, some more information. From the back, again, a couple of more information. All of this information is taken from the magazine, which comes with every new model. We will talk about it in a few minutes. Now from the bottom it looks like this. Again, you can see it's the Enterprise. Wonderful paint job. Now here you can hopefully, if I manage to zoom it correctly, see that it's United, Starship USS Enterprise United Federation of Planets, which is a wonderful detail. I couldn't read it just with my eyes. So really nice job. The paint job is also very nice looking. NCC 1701A, United Federation of Planets. On the warp nacelles, on both of them. Now... Again, the text is so small that I personally can't read it with just my eyes, but maybe somebody who has better eyes than I can. And the camera doesn't really want to zoom in properly. But 
This is the stand, USS Enterprise NCC 1701A, trademark and copyright 2016, CBS Studios Incorporated. Released again by Eagle Moss. Now, this is not a very stable stand, you can move it very freely, and maybe it's just on my model, maybe I was unlucky again. As always, I'm buying uh, these models from eBay, because they're not released in my country. On this one I had uh, <laughs> small problems how to put it all together, but... A brutal Force solves every problem. <laughs> okay, this looks now stable enough. And this is the model from different angles. And now a very special thing, uh, you probably know that the original shooting model for the NCC 1701A was just a repainted model used from the motion picture. This is it. This is the refit USS Enterprise. This was released again by Eagle Moss as issue number, I think, two, one of the very early issues. USS Enterprise, United Federation of Planets. Again, it's extremely hard to read on this one. Now, a small comparison of the two models. As I said before, the real shooting model was basically the same with a new paint job and some new decals. I think that's the way how you call it. Basically the text uh, with the name of the starship that was redone and the color of the model was changed. Also, the nacelles seem a bit longer on the A, but I'm not sure if that's just on this model or if it was redone for the original shooting model. Now let's take them both of the stands. These are the saucer sections, they look exactly the same, the, the only difference is the color and the text with the name of the ship. And this is what I said, that... Uh, okay, so on the original refit model, the warp nacelles are longer, again, I'm not sure if this is just a problem of the Eagle Moss model or if it was also on the shooting model. The normal engines look the same, the secondary hull looks the same on both versions. Again, the only difference is the color. So yeah, overall, I'm quite satisfied with this one, also with this one. So now, as always, it's time for taking a closer look at the magazine. Here you can see it's issue 72, USS Enterprise NCC 1701A Constitution class from 2286, 21 decks and 305 meters. The table of content is the beginning of every magazine, just like this specification of the real ship. 
the registry is NCC 1701A, class is Constitution, top speed warp 8, interesting, Captain James T. Kirk, and now the following two pages have, as usually, a nice article about the ship. Here you can compare the CGI picture with the Eagle Moss model. And you can see some color differences on the CGI image. It's more gray and the Eagle Moss model is more white. I'm not sure which one is the correct color, to be honest. But I would actually prefer if the colors were the same, because this is a new CGI model and this is a new model. <laughs> so they should look exactly the same. Now some pictures from different Star Trek movies. The one on the left is Star Trek V, I think. This one on the bridge is Star Trek VI. It's the landing on Star Trek V, I'm not sure which one was the last one. And on these two pages you can find all the detailed information. I used the same information on the previous still images I have shown you a few minutes ago. Again, comparing of the new CGI picture with the model. And you can again see that the color doesn't match. 100%ly. So I start to think that the Eagle Moss model should be a bit more grey. But it's really hard to say because every home video release uh, has changed colors, so it's hard to say it from the actual footage what is the correct color. You can see some photographs from of the real model and here is an article about Mr. Nicholas Meyer who co-wrote uh, Star Trek 4 and co-wrote and directed Star Trek 6. Some pictures from Star Trek 4. This is my favorite part of Star Trek 4. The song I Hate You from Edge of Etiquette, I think it was called. The Praxis Shockwave from Star Trek 6, one of the producers. General Chang, one of the best villains Star Trek ever had from Star Trek 6. The famous mind rape scene, which I think was completely out of character for Spock to do something like that. And on screen, key appearances Star Trek 5 and 6, but it was also in the final scene of Star Trek 4. And issue 73 was the Borg Renegade ship, and that's exactly the model which I'm going to talk about next week. So thank you very much for watching this thing till the end. I'm doing these little video reviews every week, so if you like them feel free to watch any of the previous videos on my channel and maybe even come back next week for issue 73. Thanks a lot again for watching and see you next time. Bye.